Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have successfully uh, created the mock post service and also we have created the post component instance we have created. Now we need to write the test case for the delete method. Okay, you should delete the selected post from the post component. So now what I need to do here. So first we need, if we want to delete the uh, po selected post from the post component, first what we need to have first the component need to have the post data so let's try to initialize this one so component so this is the component right so this is the variable which we are having so now component has a property that is post property so let's try to add this post component dot post is equal to we are already have the dummy data so component dot post is equal to post so now this component post has a post data now what i need to do i need to call component dot delete so i need to call the delete method so which one I need to pass? So I will pass something like posts of one. Okay, posts of one data. So now I am calling this posts of one data. So that means in this post, the uh, the first the first index, so it is having the uh, the index one has to be deleted. So now I need to expect. So first one, what I can do is expect component. Sorry, component dot post dot length dot to be Two. Why? Because so right now the post has a length total length of three posts. The post array has a total of three posts. So now we have deleted the index, uh, post with index of one. So now the post length should be one or two itself only. So pre previous delete before delete it should have the length of three. Now it should have two. So first scenario is this one. So now what I can do here, if I try to check the output. So here we are able to see that cannot read properties of undefined reading subscribe. So it is telling that I cannot uh, unable to subscribe the data. So what is happening here? So whenever I try to call this delete post, so what it is happening? So this method is called and this method what it is having? So this dot post. So it is trying to delete the particular post from the post array. Okay, fine. And in the second line, it is call it trying to call the delete post. Okay, post service dot delete post. And this one delete post is returning an observable. So for to which that observable we are getting subscribed. But here the post service here in this one the post service is nothing but a mock post service. So this mock post service has the two methods get post and delete post. These are mock methods only. So these are spy methods only. So now delete uh, delete post. So now this delete post what we what we can have doesn't return anything. So like it is not like an actual implementation of this delete post. It is a dummy implementation of the de this delete post. So this delete post does not return anything. So that is the reason this component dot delete is throwing an error. So what we can do for this one, as we have already le learned that for spy methods and all those things, we can define the return value also. So that is the main thing. So we can also define the return value. So how we can define the return value? Here I can write mock post service dot for which one I need to define the return value delete post and dot return value. Sorry, and return value. I want to return a value. So what is that value I need to return? It, it has to return an observable. Whatever may be the data. I don't want to bother about the data. So it need to return an observable. So I can use off method. So which will return an observable. So just I will pass some data. Okay. True boolean. So that it will pass true as an observable. That's it. Now let's try to see the output. So whether it will work or not. See now it has been successfully worked. And here if you try to see delete, it should delete the selected post from the post. So this is how we can write it. And now another one what, what we can do is, so we can also do another test case also. So now here I can write, it should, it should call the delete post one, once it could, it should call the delete method in post service. Okay. So it should call only once, right? Okay, it should call it should call the delete method in post service only once. So now we are having the mock post service and here I am trying to do and I am having the delete of post post of one I am trying to do and here what I can do here. So here what I can do here. So now mock post service dot delete post to have been called times. So we have to have been called times of only one. It should have called only one. If you try to see the output, see now 
it has been this one also get got passed so that means delete post is called is getting called only once for example if i try to write two times so let's try to see what will happen so if i try to write so here we are getting spy unknown delete post to have been called two times but it was actually called one time only so fine right so now if i try to do so this test case is also passed now another one what what we can do is so another test case what we can write is so here we are trying to delete the selected post from the post right so here we are seeing that posts of one so that means we are checking that post dot length to be two we don't know that which post has been deleted from this one we are che only checking the length of this one so whether the length of the post has been decreased or not we are checking that but we are not checking that actually the post with index of one is getting is got deleted or not so we need to check that one also so what i can do i can write another test for this one also it should delete the actual selected post in post array okay so like this so now if i try to do like this so here also we can have mock post service if you want you can also implement with the before each also not a problem so just i want to show you i am writing here so here i can write component dot post and i am trying to delete component dot post of one okay so now what i what i can do here so now let's loop over the post things let post of component dot post so i am looping over the each post so component dot post and i am checking that expect post okay post dot not to equal so it should not equal to the post of one okay post of one that's it right so what is the thing i am trying to write here so i am deleting the post of one and i am looping over to the or looping over the remaining component post remain present in the component and i am checking that the post should not equal to the post of one so the post means each post i am checking that it should not equal to the post of one it should if it is equal to the post of one means whatever the post post of one in with index one we are trying to delete so it doesn't have it, it doesn't get deleted so that is the reason so here if we try to see not to equal means then it will get true for example if i try to see here it got true so for example to equal means we are trying to do the equal thing so now this one will never be equal so if you try to see here we will get an error so id 1 equal to 2 so like this we didn't get it passed it is saying so now if i try to write it not to equal it should not get equal not to equal for example if i try to delete the posts of 2 okay i am trying to delete the posts of 2 but actually here i am trying to check that whether the posts of 1 is deleted or not so now this is the thing wrong wrong thing right now if i try to see here see object of id 2 is still existing in the component posts but you are you are checking that whether that was object a post of id2 has been deleted or not you are trying to check but in the component post it is still existing so that means delete post actually didn't deleted the post of uh, post of 1 it has deleted the post of 2 so that is the thing it is trying to tell you so now whatever the thing you are trying to delete and here by looping over each post you can check that whether that particular whether that particular post of 1 has been deleted or not we can check loop over with checking the to equal okay so this is how we will be checking the isolated unit test so for the delete method we have checked almost all the scenarios that what we have checked so first we have checked that whether the post array whenever we are deleting the post it has been decreased or not length has been decreased or not we have checked and also we have checked that whether the delete post is getting called only once or not and also another one we have checked that whether the post when we are calling the delete post so this post particular post has been deleted from the post array or not also we are cross checking that one with the test method So, if you want, means you can also write a before each method so that this mock post service and component dot post you can move it to this before each method. So, I can write here before each. So, like this for this test test case, and in this one, what I can do? So, for each time I can do here. Oh, sorry. So, I can. Oh, sorry. So, what is that? I have copied enter thing. I think so. I can take these two things, and I can write it here. Or otherwise, you can take this component dot delete also. You can do it. but i don't want to do so now here i can do it like this yeah so now we are doing the component dot delete so this is the arrange thing so this is the arrange and this one is the act and here we are checking the asset thing now if you try to see same thing works not a problem here okay so this is how you will be writing the isolated unit test for a component so hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel Thank you